Hello, my name is Michael Hill. I am the Collision Repair and Refinishing Instructor here at UACCM. And we are about to do a virtual tour of my program in my lab. When my classes start, one of the first things that we do in the class is we learn how to set up a welder and how to weld, most basic welds, butt welds, lap welds, plug welds, spot welds. And when we are done with that class, we move on, but I encourage you to weld at any point here in my class that you get a chance if you ever get ahead of the rest of the class. In my introduction class, one of the first things we do is we all get a brand new fender and you get to watch me damage your brand new fender with three dents. I know I already had one in here. And one long crease. And we will spend a little while now trying to repair this. The first one down here will be repaired with a hammer and a dolly. You might say old fashioned way, but I promise you we still do that. And we, will, we will take that dent out. At that point, we will move on to using electronic dent pullers. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It's got very heavy, called a stud gun. It will weld the stud into the middle of that dent. So now we have a metal stud welded onto our fender, and we will attach a dent puller to this, this metal stud, if I can get it on it. And we will use this and pull that dent. This is a thin metal. If it is a thicker metal, of course it becomes a slide hammer. Draw back to using this process. You'll learn. It takes time. Now we've got to remove this metal stud. Since then, we've moved on to using a more advanced electronic dent pulling system. Instead of welding the stud on, this goes to a tiny little point. We only weld that tiny little point on. It was that quick. We pull the dent, and you just twist your wrist. It pops right off. You're done with that. You're ready to do body work here versus having to remove that stud. This also does many other things. For instance, this big long crease. To pull this all at one time, we can stick this on. It's called wiggle wire. We will attach this. Down this crease. So now this wiggle wire has been welded to it. We at this point take a claw and we will catch, catch all these little hoops with our metal claw. And now we have the ability to pull this entire dent all at once. And if you're not strong enough or it's thicker metal, you can always hook a slide hammer to this. You can hook it to the claw. Another advantage to using these electronic dent pullers is now instead of having a whole bunch of studs, you just wiggle it with a pair of pliers and it pops right off. And when you get it all popped off, your dent is ready to be repaired. At this point, you will do body work to this. You will prime it, you will paint it. This is one of my students' fenders from this last semester. He fixed all those dents and got it painted. It came out very nice, did a very good job. After we have finished that, we will move on to doing a, another kind of repair. We will learn about the properties of aluminum and how to repair aluminum. It also uses a stud system up for the most part, all kinds of little attachments that we can just stick on here and just weld it to it. I'm not gonna do that part right now because that 
time won't allow me, but we will learn how to pull dents and fix dents in aluminum. And then we will learn how to repair plastic parts. We'll learn how different welding techniques and we will repair plastic parts such as bumpers. In a little more advanced class, we'll learn how to replace an outer skin on a door. This is called the door skin. We'll move, we will remove this from this door and we will put a brand new one on it. And when we're done, we'll get it all ready for paint and if time allows, we will actually paint that. As some more classes, we have several vehicles. We call them trainers. Right now it's set up because we were doing, working on brakes. We have uh, taken these brakes off, inspected them, put them back together, bled them and make sure they worked again. At this point it is also being used as a trainer for my refinishing class. We are learning different techniques for taping off. So we tape these vehicles off, of course, to protect them from overspray when we are doing the refinishing process inside the paint booth. And of course we'll tear all this off and the next semester we'll do it all again. Over here we have our semester project for the more advanced classes. This is really for the structural and non-structural course. This vehicle was purchased, wrecked. It was wrecked very well, very good in a real life situation. We have already done, used our frame machine to pull the structure back into place. We pulled the suspension back into place. We replaced the suspension in our uh, mechanical class. You did that. Uh, this, this wheel actually got hit so hard that it dented this door. It was knocked all the way back into this door. Right now, it's stayed, the stage it's in is a test fit. We mocked it all up to make sure we're gonna like how it looks when we're done just because we pulled it back to the specifications and measurements that it said to, you want to verify that it is correct. And we put it all together. We're about to take it all apart and finish repairing this at this point. Our refinishing class, we'll get to paint this when it's done. And uh, every year we will do one of these, a real live wreck. And I'd like to finish up by going over to our paint side. This is of course the body shop side. On this side, we try to minimize how much dust is in this side of the building. These are more trainers that we use. We will prepare these and we will uh, repaint them. The reason for doing this is so you get the experience instead of just painting one fender, you are actually getting to paint multi-panels at once and learn different techniques. We also use these in our advanced refinishing courses to where you learn how to blend paints. Uh, like if you replace the fender, you can't stop there, you'd have to blend across this hood. And we do those kind of experiments in here. We did a solvent test experiment on this one. But that's okay, we will fix that. This is leftover paint from a three-stage paint project that we did. The colors in one cup and the, the mid coat, the pearl coats in this one, we let it sit there for about four days. Even though these things are not leaking, they're not wet. The fumes alone went through this cup and destroyed this paint. We will understand why that happened and how to avoid anything like that ever happening again. But we'll fix that and we will paint that one again too. As you can see, there's blue fenders everywhere from my other students. And if you'd come in here, this is our paint booth. When the school does projects, we get to paint them. It gives us a little bit more experience using paint guns and different techniques of preparing the surfaces. But we use those trainers in here so we can get like three in here at once versus just one car, allowing more students to spend more time in the paint booth. We use very high quality equipment in the shop. This is a SADA 3000. A very good gun, very expensive. I will teach you how to disassemble it, clean it, reassemble it, how to adjust it. I will teach you how to paint two different techniques. I like the full trigger where we learn how to feather the trigger. We can also set it to where we only have limited trigger and so you can pull it all the way until you learn how to feather the trigger. But you have to take care of my equipment when you're in my class. It must be cleaned thoroughly every time you use it.
This has to last many years. It costs a lot of hundreds of dollars. And that pretty much sums up what we do out here in the lab. It takes a whole year to have done all these things that we did, along with other projects. But I would like to mention also, we end up spending about one third of our time in our classroom. It's very important that I teach you the theory behind what we're doing and why we're doing it, instead of just showing you how to do it. You really need to understand why. And we focus on that a lot. And I'm happy to say that out of all my students that have taken the ASC certification test, 100% of them have passed all four of them. And I'm very proud of that. I hope that you like my course and you might consider taking this. To learn more about academic programs, financial aid, and the enrollment process, go to uaccm.edu.